Here's another kit you can just pull together real quick and throw in a quart size Ziploc is a fire starting kit, just with things you probably have around your house already. Now, I'll show you the things that I put in our fire starting kit, but this is a list that I found online. We didn't have all of those, but we did have some of them. So I'll just hold this here so you can take a screenshot if you want. But of course, we've got the you know books of matches and some lighters in a Ziploc so that they don't get wet, hopefully. Um, that's where you start, just, you know, obviously your fuel's fire starter. Um, you could put a ferro rod in there or, or other, you know, like a long uh, lighter. Another thing you could do is just take some jute and cut a couple of pieces and then tie knots in the middle and that'll get a little fire started. Birthday candles, another great idea for fire starting. This has um, cotton balls and these cosmetic pads. These were little puff pads that came from some of my makeup. And then a little container of petroleum jelly. So petroleum jelly applied to any of these would start a fire. You can also dip these in rubbing alcohol and put them in a Ziploc by themselves. Um, you get them in the makeup section and not letting me separate them, but they're just thin little um, pieces of cotton. You could also dip them in wax and that would start a fire too. So that's a good group to keep together in a little snack size to pluck. Now these are um, the core of like a saran wrap or a foil and I've stuffed dryer lint down in them. That's a great little fire starter and they're just, just a couple inches um, long. And then this is a toilet paper tube with the same concept, just stuffed with lint. You can see the lint down in there. And that's a great fire starter too, you know, that might help once you get one of these smaller things going. But there you go. It's just a small little um, fire starting kit with things that you probably already have in your home or that are inexpensive to gather together.